All right, folks, we are going to talk about Mercy Me coming to Tampa. They actually have shows all over the country, and if you are not in the Tampa Bay, Florida area, uh, feel free to check out the website. We'll put the links there for you to catch them on tour with Micah Tyler, also a big favorite of our show. So uh, They will be here in Tampa uh, the 21st, but they have shows in Jacksonville, Pensacola. They'll be in Mississippi and, and all over the South. Uh, you'll see them uh, back in the Midwest, those kinds of things, so all over this side of the uh, country. And it is great to be able to chat with uh, Barry Grawl about the tour and some different things. Uh, Barry, thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing? Oh, man, my pleasure. Thanks. I'm doing great. Awesome. In, be- awesome. in between shows this week, so just home, doing home things. All right. Inhale, exhale. Uh, some new music, uh, new tour, those kinds of things. How on earth do you approach things in the middle of a uh, pandemic and shutdowns and all of that, knowing uh, you, you still got this creative spirit going inside of you and trying to put all this stuff together? Well, uh, you know, obviously there's been a lot of things to negotiate, um, navigate through, uh, which, you know, we, we kind of do on a weekly basis uh, being out on tour. So, um, man, I, I think we just, uh, we just forge ahead with the, uh, with what we're supposed to be doing and, uh, you know, what our job is and what we enjoy doing and love to do. And, and, uh, we're respectful of, you know, things that we have to figure out on the road, uh, with, you know, different venues and stuff like that. But other than that, man, it's, it's been a pretty great tour so far and, uh, no, no hitches. That's awesome. That's just great. And, and, you know, everybody's in the same boat together. So it's good to see, folks coming together and that kind of thing. So is there a lot of uh, writing and creative over the last year and a half for you guys? Maybe you couldn't do face-to-face, but I mean, I mean, obviously online I saw like, you know, you guys were doing little clips and cover, cover songs, stuff like that. But were you guys able to sort of uh, get together and collaborate and, and keep the ball moving? Yeah, we did. We um, uh, the, One of the great things is that we have our own studio. And uh, of course, when the lockdown happened, you know, everybody kind of, shut down and went to their went to their corners for a while um but when things started to kind of get to you know i wouldn't say back to normal but when things started to open up a little bit we could uh we could gather again and um uh safely of course but uh so we started we started getting together about every uh i don't know every few weeks for a few days here and there and uh we had we had already started a record which almost home came from, you know almost home is on this record so almost home is, I think it's close to being two years old now I don't know, but um, so we kind of wiped the slate clean basically and started writing again and I think we had about forty songs by the end of it, and uh, so we just took you know we just took all that time that we we weren't playing live and uh, just hit it hard in the studio and, and uh and it, it wasn't a it wasn't a real emergency like some records are once in a while you know it's like oh, we gotta get this out quick it was a there wasn't a serious timeline so we could really take our time and focus and and um and it just became you know we we got in bar talks about this from stage and uh but we we all agree it it, it was a kind of gut-wrenching to see all these online video performances from everybody and it was uh you know just one after the other and, and you know we did our fair share but we're a little bit more lighthearted and uh and so the record just became just you know let's let's in, try to enjoy life again and and not you know not just be so uh depressed all the time <laughs> yeah no we're throwing in the towel right we don't want to be throwing in the towel like this is Man. not the end of, we're not we're, we, we're going to persevere and go on let's, yeah well let's 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 start digging and, and get out of this and uh man it was uh so that that kind of became the the way that the the record was heading and just you know but there's some, definitely some heartfelt moments on the record but it's um just you know get up and dance maybe you know, yeah, yeah. you know, just enjoy, just enjoy moving ahead, whatever that looks like. Well, Don't we got a chance out. to see you. Yeah. Yeah, we got a chance to see you before some of this crazy broke out, and you were on tour with Micah then, and it, it was just a great night. And folks, if you if you've never seen it live, it's a lot of fun. And I was going to tease Bart because we saw you guys live uh, in uh, Plant City, Florida, in a strawberry festival, oh, and man. Uh, it was my first time seeing you. 
and the monsoon came in and just completely downpoured the whole time, and I'm shivering underneath this plastic tarp trying to get through the show. And Bart and Bart says, "I kid you not, I'll never forget it." Uh, I normally make you guys applaud for a uh, encore, but we're we're just gonna keep going. And I was yeah. like, "Thank you, praise the Lord." <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was great to see you guys again with, with you know the big light shows and all that different stuff. And uh, it, it's just awesome to see you guys doing these tours. And, and folks, if you haven't seen it, you, you gotta you gotta check it out. So and we and we've actually redone our whole uh, production. Um, we've <clears throat> from what it's been over the over the years and uh man we we've heard amazing things about it and just a couple cool little surprise things that i won't divulge but uh it's pretty great <laughs> it's that's really, awesome that's it's awesome. pretty awesome yeah it's just it's bigger than us that's all i can say <laughs> um you know I, I i know your your testimony a little bit and i really wanted you to kind of speak to you know maybe your salvation arc and really speak to the folks that Especially because I think, if I understand your story right, so please correct me if I'm wrong, but okay. you kind of were dabbling with some drugs and alcohol that even bled over in a time where you were even kind of playing some of the church stuff. And I think there's a place there for you to speak to folks that are kind of leading a double life, basically, and kind of what your journey was like and can then kind of like a little bit about what, what woke you up and what what changed for you. Well, yeah, I, uh, I did – I did uh, – I mean, I don't want to, you know, I can't generalize and don't want to say a lot of kids or all kids or, you know, but I, I was, I, I was kind of, I would, I guess maybe the black sheep of the family. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, teen, late teenage years, early, early 20 years, 20s for me was um, kind of experimental because and uh, not necessarily because, but I was I was playing in a, in a cover band who, uh, wh- where we went out and played you know nightclubs and high school dances. Of course, that's what you did back in the late seventies, early eighties, and um, that was a thing. And um, man, I just uh, I just started experimenting with a lot of stuff, and uh, alcohol is a big deal to me. Uh, and to everyone, you know, in our camp. Um, and then some drugs, um, I wouldn't say it was a drug, druggy, but, uh, it was all, it was all just, you know, recreational stuff. And, um, but, you know, even through that though, I, I would still, yeah, I would get home at four o'clock in the morning from a, from a band gig and get up and go to church the next morning, you know, and, um, because I, you know, I think a lot of it was because I had a lot of people praying for me, and they mm-hmm. told me they were praying for me, and um, man, I, I, and I was kind of leading a double, not kind of, I was leading a double life, and um, and there's there's a way to get out of that, and uh, you know, ask for prayer. Um, I just, you know, I, I think one of the one of the people that most Help me was probably my now wife, and um, just wanting to, wanting a relationship and just trying to hold on to that. Um, we weren't married, but uh, I, I was definitely in love, and uh, so I, you know, so she prayed for me a lot, um, and there's it, it's, it's no way to live, and there's a way out, and I. I just became there became a turning point where I was I was I was quitting one band and I, I all I had to do was walk into another audition and I was back in another band and I was like you know what this this lifestyle has got to end and so I didn't do it and I just basically rededicated my life to Christ and man he took over and I was sold out from that point and. I uh, eventually just moved to Nashville, and I, because I knew I wanted to do music, and God had opened some doors for me to do that, and so I, I walked through it. And then He was faithful, and um, and it was the it was, it was definitely a, a learning experience. And uh, you know, I don't I don't want to look back all the time, and, and you know, I you know. I mean, looking back is educational, I think, sometimes. 
but you know, I, I've definitely you know I've made with some ground over the years, <laughs> and uh, you know, but yeah, it's but, such a but, it's, such, but to such be a able great to thing that so that contrasts what you've come out of though. I mean, it's just it's such a great way to look 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 at it. You know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I, you know, I, I think in, anybody who's walking through that can there's there's definitely a, there's hope on the other side and uh, the light, obviously. Yeah. Well, and also the power of prayer. I mean, you just really kind of touched on just really a lot of it was just knowing you had so many people trying to support you and pray for you. And obviously someone that you end up, you know, becoming your life partner with is, is just an amazing testimony. And, and how, long have you, how long have you guys been married now? Uh, 32 years. Wow. Good for you. Uh, what, yeah. So so we'll, we'll close out. So what's like a great uh, word of advice for those that may be uh, less than I'm, – I'm not that far. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of my 22. I'm at 22. <laughs> So I'm no hey, novice. Awesome. I'm no novice. But what's a, what's some good word? I always call it my I call it the five ten story. That's our anniversary was May ten. Uh, so what's a what's a what's a, what's, a, what's a little word of advice, uh, nudge to help people? I mean, when you start out with someone, you know, your spouse is basically, you know, a linchpin to uh, getting you on the right path. That's a huge step right there. Yeah. But what yeah, else would you dated, really point to? And we dated for four and a half years, so it was a long time before we actually got married too. So, um, I. You know what? I, I've said it my whole life. Communication. Mm-hmm. That's key. Communication and selfless living. Wow. Two yeah. of the biggest things. Yeah. I mean, especially yeah. for what we do um, as travelers, you know, um, and we have to come home and, and, you know, not look for catering and stuff like that. <laughs> and people tell us where to be. We have to, we actually have to come home and think of, think of other people um we don't have children but you know the other guys have to think about their kids and obviously our spouse is huge huge you know it's awesome well barry thanks so much for spending time with us mercy me folks out on tour the inhale exhale a tour with micah tyler obviously if you're in the local area where we are at tampa it's the 21st they have a show the next night in jacksonville pensacola two nights later but they're all over the country and i believe they'll be in uh north carolina tomorrow south carolina after that and stuff so they'll be bouncing around and you can get uh all that information mercyme.org we'll put links there for you you can catch that and barry again thanks so much for fitting, in, fitting me in man oh thank you appreciate it